Hi, it's Betsy Marshall. It's Managing Challenge Behaviors, Part 10. I'm hoping this is the end. Um, we've talked a lot about discipline, teaching and guiding, um, and that is a really effective way to managing your child's behavior. We're gonna teach them how do we talk to each other, use our words instead of our hands or our teeth to get what we want, how to um, behave in your home or in public when you take them to the library. We say, Shh, we're going into the library, we're going to use quiet voices. And then letting them know what to do. But sometimes we um, punish, we react to a behavior and there are consequences for that. So let's talk about consequences. There are logical, natural consequences for a behavior logical natural consequences for a behavior they just happen i'll give you an example it's rainy day today i'm looking outside my office window rain puddles we come to school we say to robert please don't jump in the puddles we don't have our boots on today you're wearing shoes please don't jump in the puddles as tempting as they are if you jump in the puddles your feet are going to get wet and what does robert do sees that big giant puddle and jumps right in. What is the natural logical consequence that just happened for him? His feet are wet, right? Shoes are wet, feet are wet. My feet are wet. Yep, I said, don't jump in the puddles or your feet are gonna be wet. That is the natural logical consequence to that behavior, okay? It just happened. They figured that out. If you do that, this is what's going to happen, right? And you don't have to do anything more except say, hmm, going to have wet feet for a while, aren't you? That's a little uncomfortable. So those are nifty because that just happens. The other ones are the ones that we dole out. We give a punishment for a behavior. And what we want to do if we, if we feel we need to do that at all, is make sure that it is immediate and appropriate. Sometimes we give a punishment that has absolutely nothing to do with the offense. They've done something and then we ground them. We take away toys forever. We tell them that we're going to, you know, tell their father on them and he's going to come home and give them what for. Instead of making it logical appropriate, quick, um, and meaningful. So if uh, Timothy writes his name on the wall in his room, why, I don't know, the consequence to that is, come here, we don't write on the wall, let's clean that up. Let's go get something and clean that up. Logical, natural consequence. And then perhaps we don't have writing utensils in your bedroom if we feel the need to write on the wall instead of on paper. Natural, logical consequences for a behavior. They exist, but for some reason, we want to dole out more. Now you're in time out. Now you're this. Now you're that. Instead of simply saying, whoops, we don't use the toys that way. Now they're going to be put away and we're going to do something else logical natural consequences so try and think of those make sure it's appropriate when you take something away a toy forever it doesn't mean anything to a young child there's plenty of other toys to play with there are what we call commodities for our children things that really matter to them um, and we think i'll get you i'll take away your uh, tablet, your phone, your Xbox, those are the meaningful things to some of those kids. Certainly not their lovies. Don't take away their stuffed animal or their blanket. I, that breaks my heart. I will tell you what the biggest consequence punishment um, at my house, but it's a consequence to a behavior. And a lot of times families are surprised when I say this to them, how effective this is. But the biggest one at my house is when a child does something, and one of my own babies 
does something that's inappropriate. And this is a big one. It has to be a pretty big behavior. They have um, hit their brother. They were disrespectful to an adult. Biggies for me. We don't do that. I will say, I am not happy with your behavior. You made mommy very sad and I'm very angry with you. That's it. That's the consequence. I am not happy with your behavior. You made mommy very angry or very embarrassed by your behavior. I don't want to be with you right now. I'm going to go in the other room. Don't follow me. My children want to please me. They want time with me. And when I am not pleased by their behavior, and I don't want to spend time with them because I'm angry at what they did, not who they are, but what they did, they are crushed, crushed. And whether they're little or big, and they've done something to make me embarrassed, frustrated, angry, by me simply telling them, I am not happy with your behavior. I am very disappointed in you. They are truly upset about that. And they don't want that to happen. That is a very effective tool and it is enough. You don't have to constantly put in time out or take away something. You can just tell them you're not happy with the behavior. And then next time work to change that. So if you're using things like time out, try and use that less because I don't think that's working if you're continuing to use that. <laughs> if, it, if it doesn't change your behavior, it's not working. If you're constantly taking things away, taking things away, taking things away, and the behavior continues, again, not working. I think I'm going to come back for a last one. I, and I know I said this was the last, last one. To talk about corporal punishment hitting um, because some of us are using that and I want to really talk about that I don't want to pretend like that doesn't exist because I know in some homes it does so I'll give it that last um, video the next time but remember this one is talking about punishments logical natural consequences are best quick punishment that fit the crime if you draw on the wall you wash the wall okay if you hit your brother or sister Whoop, come and spend time with mommy now. Let's give brother or sister a break from you because you're way too physical. Natural, logical consequence, okay? We're going to come back for one more. You can come back to this one, the next one or not, if it pertains to you. And thanks so much for tuning in.